but also in the video i said now we know where the lord god is counting from now do you understand why this was so important do you understand why out of all the videos out of the whole five and a half years of everything i was doing and all the revelation the holy spirit came to confirm this one video this one video do you know how that video came about you see the video oops there we go you see the the 14 years what had happened it was let me show on this one the alphabet right what do we know about the hebrew alphabet one of the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It goes up to 400. These are what are called the finals. We're going to talk on those a little bit later as well. So what's 14? It's noon. The 14th letter equals 50. And, and why was this important? How did this come about? It came about because of a revelation when I noticed in Numbers chapter 14, uh, 13, about the tribe of Ephraim and its Osi, who is Hosea, right? Which means Yeshua, the deliverer. His father was Noon. Noon means perpetuity, okay? It was Joshua, Yeshua's father. And so you come down here and we see the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land and Moses called Oshi the son of Nun Yeshua he changes his name from Osi or Hosea to Yeshua it is absolutely a typology of Christ and it was connected to Nun and when I saw this I said wait a second I know that number Nun Noon, it turns out, is the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and it equals 50. And this revelation right here is what brought about <clears throat> the full understanding of the code of the end of days, which was 50 days of the Pentecost count, 14 years, 7 of seals, 7 of trumpets, and the final 50th jubilee. All of these things were connected to this video on March 10th. And at 11.30, 11.45 at night, when I was praying this, everyone in my house was asleep. I was praying this and having this discussion with the Lord. Nobody on earth knew. I didn't pray it out loud. It was in my thoughts, and my whole house was asleep. Okay? And then what happened? Well, remember in this video, what did it show? What we spoke about in the last one, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people. Know therefore and understand from the going forth, whoops, yeah, know therefore and understand that the going forth of the commandment to rebuild, which we know during the 50 days, <coughs> Jerusalem is going to be attacked and destroyed. So if they're going to be attacked and destroyed, that means the commandment to rebuild is going to happen within a period of time before the 14 weeks, uh, the 14 years begin, which was what? After the Feast of Weeks. So it's Feast of Weeks, then 50 days to Pentecost, and bam, the 14 years, just like the New Testament. The story began at the, at the anointing of the Holy Ghost, because without the Holy Ghost, none of us could have received the truth of what Christ did. We need the Holy Ghost to dwell within us to reveal it. So when did the New Testament really officially begin? Well, there's two kind of things, right? At the resurrection of Christ and at the Holy Ghost. At Pentecost. Hello. Couldn't have one without the other, though. Well, Pentecost, we know now, is not the Feast of Weeks. It's the Feast of Weeks and then the 50 days. <laughs> so what's really funny about this is it's still kind of saying the same thing. 
Because I was saying from the 50 weeks, right? I mean, um, from the, the 50 count of Pentecost, from the Feast of Weeks, right? Count 50 days and then the 14 years start. It's, it's kind of like saying the same thing. But the truth is, it's seven Sabbaths from either Resurrection Day or the week after to begin the seven Sabbath count. And when you get to it, this year will be the end of 70 years as we've been sharing. Then it's the 50 where they're attacked and destroyed by the 50th day. Then the 14 years begin. So knowing this now, seeing it, having it clear, <clears throat> can we prove the timing of this? Can we show really that this is the understanding? And to be able to do so, we got to do it with scripture. We got to do it with history. We got to do it maybe with the sun, moon, and stars, right? Well, let me share with you what it was that Jodell sent me. This was the header. When I saw this in my email, when the light was flashing, your last video, very important. I'd never received anything like this from her, ever. I think I'd only received maybe two or three emails from her before this. Nothing like this ever at all. Look at when it came in. March 11th, 2020 at 1240 a.m. Just like three hours, I mean, uh, uh, an hour after I had prayed it. An hour after I had prayed it, but I didn't see it till 1 a.m. And when I read it, I freaked out, woke my wife up at quarter after one in the morning. I was freaking out. I was in tears. I was going through it all. I was explaining it. And we were freaking out together. I knew this was going to be it. And listen to what she says. Hey, Alan, this email message is totally guided by the Holy Spirit, which I say with full regard to that statement and the implications that come with making such a claim. You see that? Right off the bat, she's telling me it's the Holy Spirit that has led her in this. And she knows what the punishment means. She knows what it means for making a false claim of such, of such power from the Holy Spirit. With that said, I have never experienced what, I'm, what I experienced tonight. So to this, ex to this extreme, tonight watching your video, which was becoming physically ill, vomiting and more. Why? Because she was being spiritually attacked to prevent her from receiving what, guess what? Do you understand? This is why I cry. This is why I freak out with these things. Because do you know what it means when something like this happens? This means the Lord God Father instructed the Holy Ghost to give it to Jodell to give me the message. Do you know how mind-blowing that is? Of course it puts me off, off the rails, man. I just, I, you freak out. It means the Lord Father God himself said, go give him this because that video, that revelation he's received is too important. We cannot take it away. It'll be what is needed to continue the revelation of everything else going forward. Just think about it, guys. Do you know that from it, we even got the revelation of the entirety of creation? We know when creation started, the, the, the number of years. We know the dates because of this. We know why John had in the beginning and Luke uh, and Genesis have in the beginning. <clears throat> and in the beginning was the word, was the spirit. Then he became light and then he was made flesh. We know that Jesus is a type of Adam, right? He's called the last Adam. You see? And then she says, I've experienced these episodes before. When I was given the truth, either to a question that I had or while studying the word and refer to this reaction, uh, to this reaction as a spiritual attack, as I can actually feel something attacking me when I get close to an understanding or a deep knowledge of a hidden truth or message. This happened around the 50 minute mark when you were revealing the truth about the sevens, especially the alphabet. Listen to this. Let me go to the video and let's listen to some in the time frame of the 15 minute mark and tell me if you hear anything 
special going on. Certain times. When one will end and another will start, or where some, one will continue and another one will overlap and it'll, it'll be more while the other one tapers off. It's not just one and then the other and then the other and then the other year after year. No, they're all going out. But they will have their effects. Some stop, some start, some overlap. Okay? When this red one goes out, it said power was given to him to take what? To take. See that? There was nothing going on special. These were things that we've known and that we've talked about before. But it's because I asked for a 50 connection that I would see it and I would understand when I received the confirmation. There was my 50 minute. I was looking for the number 50 that would catch my attention. And then listen to what, what she said. It literally took me hours to settle down after watching your video. Do you know what that means? That means the Lord was giving her the revelation or gave her this word for me before I had even prayed for it. That blew me away too. And then what? She had to settle down. She had to take a rest and nap for a little bit because she was so overwhelmed, so overcome, and so just exhausted from what had happened. Why do you think that was? Because I hadn't yet prayed it. And I knew immediately that I was supposed to let you know that you are, in quotations, right on target. What did I pray for? Let me know by a con confirmation with a number 50 that I would understand and catch it, and to let me know that I was understanding, that I was on target, that I was on track. And the Spirit says to tell me, right on target. One thing that stood out Listen to this. <clears throat> One thing that stood out was the fact about Israel being attacked and it hung in my mind even after settling down. In 2017, when I was woken up, I used to get these messages and these messages were answers to questions. I would fall asleep only to, to nap for like an hour or two. And when I would wake on my computer would be the answer usually in video format as I learn visually the best. Well, this is what happened tonight. The video that was on my screen was this link. She has the one below. And I felt, no, I knew that I was supposed to send this link to you and also tell you about my experiences tonight. As I started this email, this is not just from me, but, I'm, but I know for sure that it is from the Holy Spirit as I couldn't miss this feeling of contacting you. You will know the relevance per what to do with this information, apparently. This video is from 2010 and relates information as far back as 2005. Keep this in mind when you're viewing it. Tell me I wasn't supposed to freak out receiving this. And the key was what? That the Spirit gave me the words right on target. So right on target, the number 50, that means I couldn't take the video down. What was in that video was understood. But she also woke up to another video that popped on her screen that she had never seen before. And it was the main feature video right there in her face when she woke up after her nap. And she knew that she had to give it to me too and that somehow I would apparently understand it. Well, <clears throat> let's have a peek at that video. Watch this. Let's watch it for a few minutes. Listen to this. It's going to blow your mind. To try and roll out the sequence of events. Now, what he described. Oh, and I want you to know, this is from 2010. Listen to this. June 18th, 2010. Do you know I started my ministry on the 16th, 17th of June, 2017 but then knew something was happening on September 8th. <clears throat> Do you know that that little girl that, that we shared, that the Lord had told her, you know, that we're going after my father's birthday. And that video was, I think, June 6th of 2012. And what you're going to see tonight is the evidence of June connected also to the birth of Christ, to the Feast of Weeks. June, 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 June. But remember, this is from 2010. And he's talking about a guy 
who was a high up in military over in the UK, who was in this meeting, <clears throat> who wasn't supposed to be invited, but he was on a list for other things, and he was invited. Remember, the Holy Spirit wanted her to share this with me as well. Why is this important and why is it connected? This video that the Spirit was confirming was from 2010. In the very early mornings at 12.40 a.m. on March 11th, she got the word from the Spirit for me. Well, actually before that, and then she sent this to me. And within it was this video that was for me to understand as well. Listen to why. What the sequence of events was. It starts with Israel attacking Iran. No, this hasn't happened yet. There have been a number of indications that, that, that there are forces which are trying to, to, to push this into happening. You've only got to follow the news for the last two years to realize that the public is being prepared for a justification for this kind of thing. Iran is being set up as being the bad guys. They deserve something to happen to them, and so on and so forth. Now, that's going to be the start of what is like the opening gambit in a big chess game. And the plan is to provoke Iran or China to retaliate. And our guy, our source, who is a military man, is privately as convinced as he can be, although this has never been made public and this is not publicly known, that Iran does have nuclear weapons. He believes that they have been provided by China behind the scenes. And all of this is intended because it's all right with these controlling forces that Iran has nuclear weapons because they want them to be used. The plan is for either Iran or for China to retaliate after Iran is struck with a nuclear weapon. At that point, there will be a limited nuclear exchange in the Middle East, followed by a ceasefire. He heard this being planned in this meeting. This is being... <laughs> Now, you guys that have been here for a while know that I have taught on this, that the first attack is in northern Israel with Iran. It's going to be a short Middle East war. Because why? Because in Daniel 7, I mean, in Daniel 9, we know from the Feast of Weeks and the beginning of the 50 days, there's going to be an attack that begins. And then there'll be a later attack at the end of 50 days that destroys Jerusalem. This is what's going to call for the commandment to allow them to go and restore. They're going to settle. It's the first attack with Iran in the Middle East is going to be a very short-lived war. But it's going to be devastating. We knew this and taught on this before we received this from Jodel. Listen to what else he says. Been choreographed. It's like the script for a movie. This is exactly what's intended to happen. And during this time, the other thing that's being set up for this, and many people watching this will be aware that this is being set up in the background. We've had a lot of information about this from a number of good researchers from many countries who are reporting this on the internet. That things are being set up in many of the Western countries for there to be heavy controls over populations, martial law, increased powers on um, security forces who are not just the, uh, the army or the police, but in Britain, for example, our source said that he knew, he absolutely knew personally for a fact that a very large number of private security people, their powers were being increased to give them um, the ability to arrest people, the ability to detain, the ability to handle riots in the streets. And here we're talking about just regular people working in private security, people who give a parking tickets on the streets. Their powers are being increased in the same way. And uh, last year, we heard President Obama talking about how he wanted to have a sort of national guard at home in America ready to handle this kind of thing. There are a lot of indicators that this is being set up. And in this rollout of this crazy scenario, where it is intended that there will be a limited nuclear exchange in the Middle East, the idea is that as the world looks upon this with horror, then they will demand from their governments that there are heavy controls over travel, over communication, over people who meet, over people who protest in the streets. They want to make sure that they don't have uh, crazy bombers on airplanes, crazy bombers in the shopping malls. They want to make sure. And because people will be driven into fear by this, they'll request and demand and insist on heavy controls from their governments, which will be justified. And this is where you're going to kind of get the martial law situation in all the Western countries. It's intended as a justification. All of this is just the start of something, because the story gets much bigger, and it's pretty horrifying. And if, watching this now, you're feeling a little bit shocked, this is how I was feeling when I heard this information, and this is how our source was feeling when he was hearing this information in this meeting, because this is just the beginning. Now, during the time of the ceasefire, everyone's shocked, everyone's frightened, everyone's really terrified about where this is going to go. There are all kinds of heavy controls over populations everywhere. And then the next thing that happens in this, in this chess game that's being played is that biological weapons are released on China. He heard this being discussed in this meeting. They will release a flu-like virus that will be genetically targeted against the Chinese population. It's racially targeted against the Chinese people. It's designed to spread like wildfire and to knock out a large number of the Chinese people. And these people in this meeting were laughing about this. They said, China will catch a cold. Those were their words. China will catch a cold. And they were laughing about the fact that these biological weapons will, will wreak havoc among the Chinese population. 
And after that, then what effectively will be a kind of plague will actually spread right across the world to the West as well. Uh, so it was not clear whether this was a Chinese retaliation or whether the thing would just spread out of control in the way that it would be very understandable if it did, whether it's racially targeted or not, these things actually mutate. So now you've got a situation where there's been a limited nuclear war in the Middle East. There's a pandemic that really is sleeping across the world and really is getting... <laughs> I mean, crazy, right? Isn't that crazy? Now, well, let me finish the last few seconds. People very visibly. And you've got this totalitarian military lockdown in all the governments in the Western worlds because everyone's going to be in panic about all of this. And then, he said, then the real war starts. Something that would be justifiably called the Third World War with a much more major nuclear exchange. There you go. We've revealed these things from scripture with the exception of the global pandemic that would come first and start as a cold as a flu-like virus in China.